You have to wake up. We have to shoot an intro. I'm tired though. Hi, welcome to our video. <sighs> our pillow's already broke. Don't mind that. Oh, that one broke too? Yeah, each of them did. We'll just cover it with this pretty one. Now they match at least. Yes. I feel like a dead body right now. So this week was super productive. We tied up a lot of loose ends. We have a working oven. We have a fresh water tank. We have a functioning sink with wa running water. Gray water tank. We have a couch now, as you can see. Toilet hooks up. Toilet hooked up. is hooked up. Peat moss is not in it. I will give you a full demonstration of me using the shitter once it's set up. Full? Me actually taking a poop <laughs> on YouTube. This weekend, Monica and I are going to be doing a test trip, which I already have a bit of anxiety about, but I'm super excited to actually test this bitch out on the road. So you're thinking like Mark Twain or what was the other one? Um, yeah, definitely Mark Twain was one I was looking at. There's several campsites there. So in this video, we paint our roof and we never told you what we used so <laughs> if you're interested if you need some uh, we used blackjack ultra roof 1000 and we got that at lowe's so. yeah we found it at lowe's but we had to look really hard and it wasn't actually on the shelf though it said they had it in stock it was in back stock above where it usually is on the shelf mm -hmm. and we actually had to like stab it out of some boxes mm -hmm. I wanted to mention that we got all custom steel through this place called Hasleg uh, Steelworks up the way from us in Union, Missouri. If you go to Lowe's or regular hardware store, steel is going to be super expensive. If you can look up a steel shop that is kind of in your area, it is going to be way beneficial to you to pick up your angle iron any modification pieces you may need for mounting shit on the roof, do that actually directly through a steel place. Research it out, find one near you. It's gonna save you a ton of money and they're probably gonna have better shit or at least the right shit you need the first time. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we gotta wrap this up because Cole didn't put creamer in my coffee and <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> we wanna tell you guys that we will start linking our products in our descriptions now because we just became Amazon affiliates. Um, so that'll make things easier for you if you're building a bus or needing some stuff. We'll let you know what we're... <laughs> I was waiting. I was like, Would you? a lot of people don't know what Amazon Associates is still, and it's part of how we hope to set up passive revenue streams to keep us sustainable on the road. So by clicking on the Amazon links below and using them, shopping through them, we will get a kickback of credit for that, which we hope to keep us, you know, out on the road and adventuring so we can continue to do these videos. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but even if you don't buy what we're advertising, <laughs> Uh, we will get money if you shop through our link, so. Yeah, any of your weird kinky shit, go for it. <laughs> we won't see what it is you bought, how much it costs. We'll, we'll see what you bought, but we can't see what you bought. Right. Oh, God. <gasps> That's... Oh. oh! Enjoy the video! <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Another weekend, another build vlog. It's really difficult to see. That's our cooler. This is our nature's head. We've received a ton of our items for our build this past week. Disco ball, gotta have it. And, uh, oh, hey, Monica. Ooh, the reflection with these trees coming off of my roof is really cool looking. What do you have to say? <sighs> Exhaustive. How much of our stuff do you think we have bought now? I mean, looking at our list, it seems like we have like all of our appliance shit and like anything we could possibly buy, and now it's just down to like the building materials. Yeah, I think there's a few other things. Oh, and I have been appointed the task of driving to Lexington this next weekend to pick up our solar panels. I could not find anything local in St. Louis solar panel related. 
So I'm driving the five hours to Kentucky next weekend on Saturday to pick up our solar panels. So that will be interesting. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. It's the other side of things is shipping costs like three to four hundred dollars depending on what internet web person you're looking at so um, just can't do that just can't do that we've also started to make a list of all the things that we're going to be keeping and getting rid of uh once we move so this is our apartment we actually haven't ever showed you so most of our apartments just filled with dead relatives things <laughs> um with a few touches of stuff we like so but yeah it's a two bedroom and it's got a large living space but like ultimately crap just piles up everywhere it's just like not conducive to the lifestyle in which we wish to live obviously so i'm not going to show you our bedroom because it's really messy this is my office it's super messy but it's like already feels like we're we've moved out we have traveled through space and time and we are now in union missouri hey -oh. hi we saw three hawks on the way over here it's like that type of you know day where the weather's really nice it's a little breezy and all the predators are out on the prowl bam it is still here it's very dewy Look at him. <laughs> this is his office. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. <laughs> if you kids work hard enough, you can be here one day on the floor. That's right. Is the desk not good enough for you? No, we haven't done anything with it yet. Well, they were the ones that bent up some sheet metal for my boat when I was... Ooh, uh, mushroom. Yeah, I don't think you can eat them. Here. All mushrooms are edible. You just may only be able to eat it once. Gotcha. You're one of those guys. <laughs> These are going to be under storage. Is this the step? Yeah, that's the step. This is the propane tank. Good. I was curious as far as how large that would well, be. Well, I went online and looked at the size and I oversized it. That's what I did. Yeah, we got a 15 pound tank. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Okay, good. It's the, the one that you always see with the barbecue pits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I looked at this online. It was like 15 bucks per. They sold these to me for two dollars and something a piece. Online or there? There at Hasleg. These hinges? Yeah. These are to either to weld on or pop ribbit on. But what I want to do is I want to use the side of the bus for the door. Yeah, for sure. And that'll look cool because it'll be kind of hidden. I got to get that ready, Cole, to move that wood back there so I can do that while That's I fun. get you started on cutting out the sides of the bus. Me? Yeah. Sure you don't <laughs> <laughs> sure you don't need help. <laughs> gas line half. Cut the gas line? Yeah. Oh, you got diesel. It's not a problem. I'm gonna hold this end up. Cole, does it say those cans have to be upright? Uh, I don't think they do. 
I'll see if it says it, but I've seen people have these side plays, you know. And... Can't be done safely with a 20 pound vertical barbecue tank. You'll get liquid propane rather than vapor and no good will come of that. The cylinder really shouldn't even be stored or transported that way. Well, then let's just cut into the floor. Yeah, let's just fucking do that. Yeah. everyone. <laughs> She'll probably join us on several of our adventures once we're on the road. So this is her. She just got a new haircut and I'm really digging it. I'm Look considering actually moving in <laughs> to the bus. <laughs> to the bus. We can do that. How's it going, Katie? What are you doing? I'm painting. Or under storage? I'm not a painter. Well, you look like a painter right now. Can you show us how to make some fluffy, fluffy clouds? Some happy clouds? What's the name of that guy? Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Shake off the excess. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. I'm just like Bob Ross. I'll just do a little pitter patter over the canvas and do you see that we have birds birds it looks like a black box ma'am no it's birds <laughs> with the welder and the welding machine the tip is not feeding see if there's another one of these coal in there in the box yeah in that box I guess so. I don't know if this wheel is just worn or what it is all right ear of grievances what's, <laughs> what's the update the update is we have a welder that doesn't work so we're going to have to get a different welder. We cannot get the wire feed to feed. Monica, how's the painting going? Looks painting good. good. Oh, you're super white. Yeah. It's Looks incredible. Yeah. Take it down a notch. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to look good. Yeah, it already looks so much better. <laughs> Katie, thank you for your help on the oven. My pleasure. You're so great, thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> <laughs> Monica painted the top of the bus. I did. And then the welder just broke on us, so we're gonna pick up Monica's brother's welder tomorrow morning and get back at the under storage. Did you air your grievances on camera yet? No, nah, I'm really pissed off right now. <laughs> uh, my lens got a couple scratches on it from the grinder sparks. I've gone through two UV filters, so if you're doing a bus build, know that your uv filter will burn up because of the sparks and if you don't have a uv filter or an nd on your lens you will ruin it 
with those sparks, so be careful. Lesson learned. Yeah. It's only yeah. a $600 mistake. Like, the bus looks so much better already. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I'm over here thinking like, oh, we've already made so much progress on the bus, but Monica's like, well, it's not <laughs> painted, so. I just like to see the progress. <laughs> I feel like we're making progress because physically, everything hurts. <laughs> Monica tells me I have crusty eyes now, not after, like before we shot the intro. I didn't look at We're you. already in the outro now. and Oh, it smells like sneeze in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, adventuring this weekend. Super excited about it. Yes, me too. Uh, make sure to link into our IG. We'll be doing some stories and trying to get some video out, but we don't know what coverage is like in a national forest. Mm, probably not great. <laughs> Probably not existent. <laughs> Say it. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Cool. Like, subscribe. Till next time. And we got a second video coming this week, so look forward to that. Oh yeah, bonus video. Peace. Bye.